I'm saying. Also, Uncle Murder must have ran into Little Rod. <laughs> I see that. He took a picture. They said, I want my money by Monday. They took a video and said they want their money by money, money, <laughs> Monday. That's wild. <laughs> Yo, Uncle Murder's not playing. He's going to put that in a bar next December. It, it, it's year. funny that I seen this, and it, I guess it could go into the conversation that I was having or wanted to have because... Somebody kind of got at me. They were. It wasn't like a bad getting at me, but we see Uncle Murder with my boy's accuser, right? Diddy's accuser. Yeah, Diddy's accuser, right? Mm-hmm. If this was difference in the streets, technically that would be he would be looked at as a snitch. Diddy's accuser. Yes, because he's accusing Diddy of something. He's uh, he's a, he's accusing Diddy of harassing harassing him sexually. How's your snitch? <sighs> okay. He would be the victim. Yes. Yeah, but he's still snitching on. He's telling situations about Diddy. Are though. you not supposed to, as an abuser, as being a, a man being abused, as a victim? Hear me out, because <laughs> this is gonna get tricky. If he's telling it about himself, that's cool, I guess. But what if he's like if he's exposing other stuff? Like what? Just other Diddy stuff in general. My whole okay. Is it is, does it, it does it does it lead to Diddy being abusing people? Does is it, it lead like to awareness? Exposing Diddy. Let's just say Diddy has. Let's just say Diddy is has a fucking sex ring or illegal sex trafficking or human trafficking. He's pimping out girls and doing all that. Technically, if a man's exposing that, that's still pimping or that's still snitching. Sorry. If he's exposing that part of his life, and it doesn't directly affect. Him, like if he wasn't a part of that ring, then yes, that's snitching. If he wasn't a part of that ring and he was just being abused and fucked and raped and stuff and he's telling his story, he's not snitching. I know what you're trying to say here. It's like, oh, I got hurt. I saw him do that to somebody. Mm -hmm. I saw him do this to somebody and then sell coke the next day. Yeah, he's riding on him for sure. So now the reason why I say this too is because like we see Uncle Murder with them, we see Six Nine with, with people with Six Nine, the Gunner situation, the YSL Woody situation, right? Like, has snitching, the whole culture in general, the street culture, has it divided us? Because it's like we we all look at, at the snitching a certain way, but now it's just like okay, well that person's a civilian, so this or that person's this, that person this, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like. You see certain things like this, like I'm, like it's hard to say because I feel like if this was anybody else or maybe if it, maybe Uncle Murder is a little bit older and he's mature and he's just like, all right, and he fucks with 50 and it's like, fuck Diddy kind of thing. But I feel like if this is anybody else, he's not fucking with Little Rod. Mm. I think he'd be like, yeah, you're getting your body fucked out. You know I'm saying you're tattletailing, like run up you. <laughs> but like now it's kind of like a situation where it's just like, okay, we pick or choose because we don't fuck with a certain nigga. We'll be okay with what if you're considered riding or snitching. I see what you're saying. And this is why I feel like it's divided us and the whole thing is mash up. Because the person did co- comment and say like, yo, you know, like the whole snitching thing, like it's a divide thing. You can't really be like pushing that narrative out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? That people shouldn't snitch and then that a third. I'm like, yes, to an extent. I'm like, I'm still ignorant one. You know what I'm saying? I still got a lot of hood <laughs> in me. And I've been ratted on from from, from people. So... When you get ratted on, it's just like you—you you just a, look at yeah. yeah. You you just look at these people differently. Like I can't, especially when you know what you signed up for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you're a man that knew what you signed up for, and then you end up just telling on anybody, I don't give a fuck what it's for. You you deserve belt. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you deserve to get belted. Yeah. But um, yeah. Do you feel like it's divided? Do you feel like the the whole culture of the snitching thing has divided us as a people? I think that like. <sighs> Whether it divided us, it goes back to what you guys used to say earlier on, and I believe it went back to the old show. The the the, the snitching, the ratting, it's it only affects a small subset of people. Mm. It's not like it's not affecting me, you, homeboy outside. Snitching doesn't affect him. Mm. Me, you, on the other hand, raised on the block, a little bit in the streets, tough life. It kind of affects us. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the people in this building that we're even in, <clears throat> how much of them really are affected by that? 
So would you say it's like a metro housing thing? Like I shouldn't even say metro a housing. Project thing, like, a project thing. Like yeah, a, like, a pro- yeah, if you live in a project, mentality. if you live in the hood. I wouldn't even say, yeah, like it's more of like a... Because we can look at some of these people like they're outside, but some of them do live in those those, those situations. situations yes. now, and they're learning how to get themselves out of it kind of thing. And no, actually, no, 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 no. I wouldn't even say it's a project thing. I would say, or a project thing. I would say it's more of like a, like a group thing because even police... <laughs> Are, are locked down to that code too. You know what I'm saying? If, like, I was just, wa- I'm rewatching The Wire. I remember when they fucking, when uh, my boy hit the youth with the gun, lost his eye and shit. Um, yeah. Fucking, um, uh, the Chris Belusky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, yo, I did it because I was angry. And then, and then, um, what's his name? The deck Daniels was like, no, this is what happened. You better get your story straight before IA, whatever, whatever. Mm. So you can't be snitching on anybody in that situation. You, before IA really tears down the whole situation, like the whole shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? So even they can't be around a rap because if they're doing certain things that may be looked at like, what the fuck are you guys on? They have to be like, it, it can't be on some, well, this guy's a goody two-shoe cop and he sees us maybe skimming off the top or not really charging people for dope. They'll throw it away. And, you know what I'm saying? He'll go to the fucking, to the, to the um, sergeants and be like, yo, I seen this guy. No, 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 no. They find that out. They're crushing that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but then in the other thing, Carver ended up ratting on the group and he got fucking blessed for it. So if you remember, Carver was giving the other black, the head black cop. The deputy the, ops, the right? Deputy, Burrell. He was ge- he, he, Burrell. Well, I can't remember his, his name. His name is Burrell. Yeah. yeah. But he was giving him the information on what the fucking was team was doing. Inside. Yes, yes, And yes. then after, later on in the seasons, they ended up um, fucking giving him up or uh, giving him the better spots and shit like that. But look so. how he felt at the end of that. But he like felt a piece like of a shit. piece of shit because it's still ratting, my nigga. At the end of the day, you ratted out your team, broski. And they still ended up... Winning the war mm-hmm. in that sense, yeah. While he, yeah, he had to fucking rat to glow up, but you, you're, you're now you looked at as a piece of shit to your peers, yeah. So well, go on with your fucking promotion, your raise, but you can't <laughs> come around us, nigga. Yeah, you can't, you can't. Be with you know the what I'm saying? Them. But like I said, like it's just two certain subsets of people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it to a, a project thing, but it's just certain subsets of people, people that do crime. You know what I'm saying, even people at work. I'm not ratting on my co-worker because they want to go home early. I'm not telling my boss that. I'm going to cover him. Idiot. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's sick. He's not feeling well. Those things, you'd be like, oh, I better go tell the boss. Like, no, I'm not telling no. I'm going to be like, All right, yo, do your thing. I'll cover you for you. I got you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's still kind of like a non-snitching thing. You know what I'm saying? So it all depends, bro. Like, it all depends. I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't even say it's a divide. It's more of, like you said, I think it is got down to I don't rock with that person. You could do whatever the fuck you want to do with him. As long as you cool over here. Is that the divide you're talking about? Yes. Wh- whereas we don't care if you did that to that person as long as you never did it with me. Yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> then we're definitely at a divide. Sticky, man. Um, well, who were we just talking about again? R- well, little Rod in them. Little Rod in them, yeah. Well, and Diddy and shit. Good luck. Yeah. Shout out Diddy's son. <laughs> 